We are here in Houston, Texas, which we have been told is a restaurant capital in the United States. We are gonna test that theory out today by going to the best restaurants that Houston has to offer. Now, I'm a little concerned because we're jamming this all into like one day, and Simon has like a really fragile baby tummy, what? so he's gonna tap out by round three. Girl, you crazy, you tapping out by round two. Boo, boo, boo. I'm Simon, I'm full, I'm on a low carb diet. Oh. I'm here for me, this is the right place for me. Are you kidding right? me? You're going down. 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 I love you so much. Oh, I love you. So you wait, Lee. I'm so confused. I'm getting all misty eyed right now. Okay, so. <laughs> so we could do like. <laughs> <laughs> Is this vegetable low carb? Of course. Shiner Bach. Is there a place, place in Texas called Shiner? This is so great. Lone Star. Lone Star. It's the national beer of Texas. <laughs> So I got the beef brisket dinner with potato salad, some jambalaya, and the most glorious piece of bread I've ever seen. It's, it's like a jalapeno cheesy bread. cheesy covered in jalapeno. And you can't see this right now, but I'm so erect that the table is lifted up another couple of feet. I got the po' boy with two kinds of meat, jalapeno sausage, and this is the beef brisket on a French okay. bread thingamabob. We also got a baked potato, which seems to be filled with meat. It's more like meat with a side of baked potato. And then we got the beef brisket, we got the Czech sausage. And the ribs. And the ribs uh -huh. with the jalapeno bread. Jambalaya. Jambalaya and, and the jambalaya pinto beans. I don't understand what I do here. Oh man. I'm coming in. I'm going on oh, your man. side. Let's go. Okay. Alright. Here we go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Share with me. Mm. Not great. I love how no nonsense this is. It's not like we have like a reduction foam or whatnot. Like we got good meat, we got good bread, put them together and eat it. That's how it should be. How's that rib? Is that a good rib? You're not gonna like it. That's a great rib. Right? That's a great rib. Right now. Lee, this is a great choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well done. I love living right now. <laughs> you're gonna hate it I in about 20 minutes when you're like, I can't right eat now. anymore. Hey, uh, hey guys. Hey. Hey, it's only stop one. Come on. Uh, this can't be stop one. Yeah. I'm full. I'm gonna sleep. Come on. What's a beignet? What's a beignet? Really Is it dessert? You're never gonna know until you try it. Let's go for beignets. All right, let's go for beignets. All right, we are in Crescent City Beignet Shop. I don't know what to say about this, but I didn't even know what a beignet was. And apparently it is a delicious, puffy, awesome looking, freshly cooked. Look at this. Do you Look see how much sugar's on here? Watch this. <laughs> so I feel like when I'm talking, they're gold dust. Okay, I understand now why there's sugar on this. This is not as sweet as I thought it would be, which is mm. great. This is like totally my style of old person food. Oh yeah. dumped honey all over his beard again. Oh. Is it impossible to get out of my beard? Oh, Ricky. I'm trying so hard. Terrible. What the hell? I'm just a mess. I'm sticky and my oh. beard doesn't feel right. How are you supposed to eat this? There's no civilized way. Simon section. Simon section. Yeah. 
fellow Texans, I know you might be wondering why we took them for beignets when beignets is a Louisiana food. Shh. It's okay. Feel free to express your anger and displeasure in the comment section below. We'll be taking notes. The beignet stays. The beignet stays. Let's order. I'm seriously not ready yet. Yes, you are. No, I'm Pick not. One. Look at this. Pick one. It's all pie. I want strawberry rhubarb. I want, I want the cherry. I want the coconut I want meringue. Lemon meringue. I want lemon meringue. I want coconut you. cream. Coconut cream. I want to get the bayou goo. The bayou I like to try the Bavarian chocolate and the we Bavarian can't banana. Do all that. I like okay. the fresh peach. I'm going for then the I'm strawberry. Then I'm going to go for the coconut custard, following I'm... by the Texas pecan fudge. I will have the key lime after that, I'm shortly gonna... followed by the lemon ice box. I... And then I might finish that I'm... all off with a mini pecan pie because I don't want to be excessive. I am going to go for the strawberry rhubarb. Oh, Simon. Awesome. Susie's oh, looks great. Definitely. That oh, yeah. looks legit. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. I got the strawberry rhubarb. Susie's and Lee's look phenomenal. What do you mean Susie and Lee's? These are ours. It's a team effort to eat all this. That's a good strawberry rhubarb. Haven't had that flavor in so long. Oh my god. That's a great coconut cream pie. Mm. Oh. Right? Oh. Right? I used to get this as a kid. Oh my. Way, 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 okay. way, way, way. That's the winner the so far. Right. Mm. This one looks perfect. Look at that crust. This is a nice Graham flaky cracker. crust. Look how velvety smooth that is. Mm. Uh oh. The cream pie just got outranked. The texture of it, it just like becomes a, a condom in your mouth. A condom of like, it just, in your it mouth. It like wraps everything up like a thin sheen. Just, all in there, like the sinuses are coated. I've never had any feeling like that before. All right, Lee, which one's your favorite? Susie says. Icebox. Icebox. Icebox, Simon says. Coconut and then icebox. Mm, coconut and icebox, then rhubarb, then meringue. I'm so full! Pull yourself together! Stop making me eat! Pull yourself together, I man! I can't do it, I'm too late! Now we're at Estiro Tierras Caliente. Is that right? Might have nailed it. Yes! No, there's no S. Oh, Simon. <laughs> Almost. Oh, no. We are at Estiro Tierra Caliente. Yes, it is an, an awesome Mexican food truck. We've heard about it before. We've never actually been there, and we're really excited to try it out. We've definitely never been there before. Oh, that's delightful. Mmm. It's like a taco. Mm -hmm. burger. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we were there yesterday and we pretty much had everything on the and menu. It was amazing. But we're ready to have it again because it was the best taco truck ever. Hello. Hello. Oh, yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, I feel Yay. like I'm going to happy school now. Let's bring our lunch bags to let's bring our lunch bags to the tables. The West Alabama Ice House. <laughs> Amazing. Your grandfather owned this bar? That is so amazing. And you're here right now, we're, we're here. here. That is, that is totally amazing. amazing. Yeah. This is such a wonderful little place. This is gonna be one of my fondest memories of this whole tour. Susie's okay. like, I've already eaten everything. Susie's already done. Look at that. Ah, oh, this right here. This is the money shot. I'm so happy right now. I am so happy right now. What's great about this is that <laughs> the beef here tastes so different than Korean beef. I don't like Korean beef at all, but this beef here has a sweetness to it. Oh man, because this beef doesn't taste like Korean beef at all. Are you gonna eat all of it? Can I have yeah. A bite? You have one bite, that's it. And then you're done. Look at it shining. You could see my reflection of my face in the fingers. It's a quesadilla.
Yeah. So much, so much it's cheese, so much meat. We dropped it. It's gone. <laughs> this is so greasy. You can see the paper underneath is now transparent. This is like a Korean face mask now that I could put on and absorb the spirit of Texas. That I could at least lick it. Oh, Simon, no. That was a bad idea. Oh, Not gonna idea. do that again. We are so full from all the eating and drinking that we've done, but I'm pretty sure that if we didn't do a video in front of Whataburger, we would be henceforth banned from Texas. So we are going to have late night Whataburger because that's what we're supposed to do. I just want to say we lost Lee. Susie's Lee's barely hanging in there. Susie. Whataburger. 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 According to Twitter, we were supposed to get the patty melt, which I think is in Texas style toast, okay. is my guess. We got a patty melt, which looks like cheese and burger and toast. And this and is we a got honey, butter honey butter biscuit. Chicken biscuit. And okay. sweet tea. Let's go. Ching. I believe I requested some sugar in my tea. <laughs> Susie, this is pretty sweet. Did you try the sweet tea, Susie? My reaction. <laughs> oh, wow. They don't mess around with sweet. Right? <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, bam, oh, bam, bam, bam. Good? Oh, mercy. This is something you make at home uh -huh. when you don't have buns. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. Look at these grilled onions in here. You see that? You see this? Cheese whiz and two patties, Texas toast, and lots of cheese. Oh my god. That's that, the win. That's amazing, isn't it? These biscuits are so soft and buttery. Okay, let's come to a decision right now. If you had to choose between Whataburger and In N Out, what would you choose? Oh my god. My answer is. And that's what we would choose if we had to choose between In-N-Out yeah. and Whataburger. I wonder if people are surprised by that. I think that's a very fair decision. Yeah. So that's it for our amazing Houston food crawl. We ate all of this food in one day. Can you one believe that? One day. I'm like so full. Now I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be upset that we missed out on some special places. Please let us know in the comments what we should go to next time we come to Houston so that we can do this right. Oh my God. There oh, was we, so much food I wanted to eat, but I couldn't. We didn't have any pecan pie yet. I know. Oh, oh my God. Pecan pie. We didn't go to Poison Girl. Next time. We didn't go to the Shack Resort. It's with the burgers that are like. Oh, they have the grilled cheese instead of buns and then you put a macaroni cheese in it and then you put a bun. Ah, next time. Next time. Next time, Houston. Next time.